Hey there, this is Paul Eiding from Ben 10, The Transformers and Incredibles 2, and you're listening to Brigade Radio 1. Lucky you. I thought it would be fun if your cousin came along with us this summer. Is that a problem? Ultra Magnus, a cursory evaluation of Decepticon capability. Game paused. Game resumed. Mineral field depleted. You're listening to Brigade Radio 1. There have been times in my career, I will tell you, Ethan and Stephen, uh, where I was in the shitter. Dead in the water. <laughs> Dead in the water. I've been there. Dead. So basically and my... How many Tuesday times have you me. been revived? I've been revived quite a bit. Uh, at least twice. Okay. So this was um, this is the early 90s, and uh, I need a little bit of revivification. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so... Um, Simpsons was, was doing well, and I called up Sam, uh, you know, and said I'd like to do it. And he said, You'd, you want to do one of these episodes? I said, yeah. So um, went in, pitched, and it was like one of those things where I had like full pitches yeah. for five or six episodes. Nah, we did that. Uh-uh, I don't think so. And then the last was just the, the, the kernel of an idea. That's the one we did. Right. Um, and because... I was at that point in my career, I had something to prove. So for two weeks, and my wife at the time, who's not my current wife, knew that my brain was in cartoon land. Right. I was dreaming cartoon. I mean, this is like, this was an important You script. needed this job. I needed it. And um, the other thing about uh, writing The Simpsons, a lot of people don't know unless you've written it, is the, the first... The outline is a first draft. You have all of the dialogue in the outline, essentially. So I hand in the outline, and you know, I'm figuring, okay, this is, you know, this is, otherwise I have to work at the May Company. Uh, <clears throat> and I get a call from my old partner, Ian Prezo, yeah. who you probably know. I know Ian. And he said, oh, I hear you made a big splash over at The Simpsons. I said, I didn't hear that. And uh, then Sam called. He goes, man, that is a great script. All we have to do is reformat the outline. And that was like, um, you know, so, so if you're going to be down, it, it helps if, if, you, uh, if, you have, uh, if, if you shoot out of it like a rocket. So. Well, my friend, uh, The Simpsons, you're not the only person The Simpsons saved. <laughs> <laughs> the Simpsons, if you look, here, I've been watching a lot of it because, thank God, the early episodes are on, like, uh, FXX. Yeah. And, you know, you almost forget how brilliant it is at times and who it's brought back from the, you know, Barry White and all these guys just, you know, we had we had Magic Johnson in our show around the time. Was that the it, show you pitched with Magic? And I didn't pitch it with Magic. I, I didn't pitch it with him in mind, but that's mm -hmm. what it evolved into. Um, but uh, anyway, it was at, at the time when uh, he had announced that he had uh, HIV. Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, get a sex second Simpsons episode out of it? Or? They asked me to do one, but I was on a fallow deal at MGM. What does that I, mean? It means it wasn't going anywhere. I had I'd written several scripts. that They were paying me decent mm -hmm. money, and um, I hadn't gotten anything on the air. And they let me do, they sort of let me out to do The Simpsons. And then they asked me to do another Simpsons. I said, ah, I can't. I feel bad about MGM. That was the stupidest wow. thing I ever yeah, did. Really. Because I'm telling you, I still get... Does MGM I still feel get bad about you? Oh <laughs> with three figures. I still get, I, I still get like, wow. you know, to this day, and that's like a 30-year-old episode. Yeah. And, that's a and, long I, and I get checks for like the, the two, two cents checks, the 25 cent checks. Uh, for what? What's giving you? Is residual. It, actually, for like Suddenly Susan? No, acting. actually. Acting oh, Happy Days. And... Yeah. Yeah. You better subscribe to this channel before you look uncool. 